Did you know that our pet birds can eat flowers? Yes, that's right. Oh, they can eat flowers and fingers. <laughs> flowers are loaded with vitamins, minerals, carotenoids, and antioxidants and are a great addition to your bird's diet. They have natural healing properties and can provide mental and physical stimulation. They are great for enrichment and can be offered as a foot toys or mixed with dry or fresh foods. They can be fed in a separate bowl or in a foraging toy or a foraging tray. They also can be brewed into a tea. Yes, a tea. Oh, he wants some tea bubbles. It looks like he needs some chamomile tea maybe. <laughs> so flowers can be offered fresh or dried. Fresh is best of course. However, fresh edible flowers may not be may be more like difficult to find, especially in the colder months, unless you grow them yourself, of course. Um, the alternative is offering your birds dried flowers. So there are so many different types of flowers that you can safely give to your birds. If you are unsure uh, whether or not a particular flower is safe, it's best to avoid giving it to your bird. Not all edible flowers are safe. Some unsafe flowers can cause skin irritations in the mouth and possibly the wind pipe can become swollen and could be fatal. And so make sure you do your research. Some toxic flowers are lilies, daffodils, azaleas, clematis, hydrangeas, latanas, and morning glories. And some safe edible flowers are a chamomile, did I say the right chamomile, <laughs> marigolds, pansies, hibiscus, lavender, roses, daisies, carnations, a bottle brush, dill, bee balm, anise, dandelion, milk thistle, and basil. The most popular flowers that are given to pet birds are chamomile, marigolds, hibiscus, roses, daisies, lavender, pansies, passion flowers and dandelion. The most popular herb flowers that are given to birds are anise, basil, dill, oregano, fennel, thyme, bee balm, chives and cilantro. Some flowers can be fed as a common agent, liver issues or digestion issues. Chamomile has common effects and anti-inflammatory properties. It can also help with digestive upsets. It could help uh, birds that are prone to night frights or plucking. Carnation, lavender, and passion flowers also have a common effect. Um, marigolds are a source of vitamin A and C. Roses and daisies are a source of vitamin A, C, and E. Hibiscus is packed with anti oxidants and contains anti-inflammatory compounds. I think you need some flowers tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when freed in fresh flowers, it's best to remove the stems and the leaves first. Just give them the flowers. Any flowers that you give your birds must be free of herbicides, fungicides, or other chemicals or dyes. Some places to avoid getting fresh flowers from our florists as they use chemicals to keep them lasting long and looking good. Avoid uh, garden stores as they are not meant for human consumption and most likely chemicals were used unless they happen to sell edible flowers, which is great, that's a bonus. Um, avoid like bouquet of flowers that you see in grocery stores or convenience stores as they most likely were exposed to chemicals and or dyes. Places to avoid getting dried flowers from are art and craft stores, as they most likely are sprayed with preservatives and dyes. Avoid um, garden centers, especially during the Christmas uh, season or any holidays, as most likely the flowers are sprayed with preservatives and or, or colors. And um, so where do you get fresh flowers from? Well, you can get them from health food stores, select grocery stores such as gourmet grocery stores, or specialty grocery stores, you can grow your own. That would be great, that would be the best. Online vendors, um, just make sure they are free of chemicals. 
And so where would you get dried flowers? Well, I got a good tip for you. You can get them from pet stores. That's where I got some of my flowers. You can find dried flowers in the reptile department, labeled for reptiles, and some are labeled for tortoises. In the animal department, or the small animal department, they're labeled for rabbits, chinchillas, rats, mice, and other small animals. I'm gonna show you what I got from the pet store. So I got these two. This one's labeled for tortoises, and this one's labeled for reptiles. They're basically almost the same product. They just got different pictures on them, and they got a lot of different flowers in there. It is 40 grams, so it's pretty big if you just have one or, or a couple of birds, or even a few birds. There's, there's quite a bit actually in there. So I got these two, and then I found these in the rabbit um, small animal department. Hibiscus pieces, and these are different flowers, types of flowers in there. I do a rabbit, so I do feed this to my rabbit as well, but these can be fed to your birds. And then in a different uh, pet store, I found the gourmet toppers. This was in the small animal department. Let's see if I can open it up. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Look at that. See? So they're just basically dried flowers and they just sell them for other animals, small animals, rabbits, tortoise, reptiles and all that. But the funny thing is I don't see them in the bird department. I don't know why. Um, maybe I should send, I don't know who, a <laughs> notice to say, please label them for birds so people will know. But now you know because you're watching my video. Anyways, so I got this for my birds and my rabbit and you can use it for your small animals as well. You can also check on it. Etsy, if you go on there, just make sure they are edible and safe from any chemicals. Uh, Google some companies that sell edible flowers. Um, just make sure they're all edible, of course. And Amazon, that's uh, where I got some of my flowers I'm going to be showing you. I also will put a link down in the description <laughs> under my video, in my video description of my Amazon store and my link for all the dried flowers. So I'm going to show you what I got from Amazon. All right, so you want to see what I got from Amazon? I'm going to get some more too. Woohoo! <laughs> these are one pound bags. I got, uh, these are uh, marigolds, some lavender, hibiscus. This is um, chamomile. And then I got some rose petals and these are I believe one pound um, bag so these will last me a while because I got a lot of burrs but I'll put those links down below and if you want to get those it's probably cheaper to buy the big bags and they'll last you longer and, and all that but uh, yeah so you just got to search and search and search but make sure they are edible and not sprayed with anything at all. You can also try looking in tea specialty stores. Um, they have blends, but sometimes there's something else added, added to the blend that might not be safe. So always read the ingredients and use Google to see if it's safe for your bird. Maybe they sell individual flowers. You can make your own teas. Um, and you can get them in specialty grocery stores. I have found some of my actually dried herbs as well and some flowers there like uh, cam. How do you say that? Camel, mile, I always mix up. Anyway, that flower and a few other flowers I found in the grocery stores. Usually I find them like in ethnic stores or just special specialty grocery stores. And so when you're searching online, make sure that they are edible and um, not sprayed for anything and not used for crafts because they've been sprayed with preservative, most likely. So um, these flowers are not intended to replace like proper avian care. They will help with some, you know, minor issues that you have, you know, for, for stress and um, like liver issues and stuff like that. So I recommend you take your bird to the avian vet if your bird is not feeling well. And yes, you can make a tea for your birds. If you want to make um, tea for your birds, you can add a mixture of flowers, just put a bunch together, whichever kind you want. And you can try, try them yourself, see if they're good. And you place them in a stainless steel mesh like tea strainer and into like maybe a, a, a cup and a quarter of water, hot water, but you gotta let it cool. Don't serve your birds like hot tea, obviously. Or just put it in enough water to cover the tea and just let it steep and try to feed it to your birds. 
And um, so let me know if you feed your birds flowers like fresh or dry or both or if you're going to after seeing my video. So make sure you check out the links in my video description and check out the flowers I have um, on my links and more bird products there are there for you. And for more videos on AV Nutrition, click on the video you see on the screen and I will see you in the next video.